Is it going? Cool. Well, welcome to the first four years of Deliverance. Uh, my name is Jimmy P. Brown. Uh, basically, I'm going to narrate along uh, with you, let you know what you're going to be listening to in the next few moments. Uh, basically, uh, those of you who purchased this tape, basically, I know that you are probably one of the very few buffs that uh, really like to know everything about the band and what they're about and, you know, where they based from and, you know, what, what kind of musical origin do they have and, you know, what kind of toothpaste they use. You know, that's cool. <laughs> so because I'm that way about, you know, certain people that I like to listen to, too. So I think it's cool. And um, basically, I'm taking this time just to share a little bit about what Deliverance has been through. And and uh, definitely we've gone through a lot of changes over the years. And, uh, you know, God continues to change us and mold us. You know, we're, we're just, uh, you know, clay on his uh, potter's wheel, you know, so. uh Definitely, I'm looking forward to uh, the future uh, and what Deliverance uh, has. But uh, definitely, this is a stroll down memory lane for me. And uh, when I can share basically everything that has happened to Deliverance in the past, oh, gosh, we're actually covering the first four years from 1985 to 1989. And we're sitting here uh, basically here in my uh, home studio. And uh, we're just going ahead and letting the tape roll. And I'm basically going to narrate and play tapes so that's what what this whole tape is about excuse me let me tell you this the quality of the tape and the music you're about to hear is 100 percent (laughs) horrid it's very bad it's it's not good at all but uh the reason for this tape is not so you can have something awesome where you can play over your stereo and show your friends and so forth and so on this is more just a, a look into the history of deliverance and and what happened, and why, and all sorts of stuff, so uh, like I said, a lot of the stuff you're going to hear is very, very poor quality, and uh, I don't recommend you using this as a tool to (laughs) to reach people, because it's really, it's it's awful, (laughs) and uh, that's what the records are there for, but uh, this is if this is for the people that just want to know, you know, how it started, how the band got along, and everything, but it all started in 1985, uh, when I was about 15 years old, and I, uh, just got a vision to to start the, the the ministry and get a band going, a Christian band, um, you know that was heavy and and that you know basically had a vision to reach those kids that weren't being reached uh, with the other bands that were out at the time, and that's how Deliverance started. And we you know we we weren't you know right away speed metal. We didn't turn speed metal until around late '86. Um, you know you know I'd let a lot of my old influences out at that time, and boom, that's what happened. But uh, you can you can definitely hear a lot of different influences throughout the years, but uh, we're going to go ahead and play a tape from the first few sessions that Deliverance got together. The original lineup was um, myself, Jimmy P. Brown, and also we had Chris Hyde on drums, uh, and uh, he was with me from the beginning, definitely, and he also played on the first two records, Deliverance and Weapons of Our Warfare, and we had a bass player named Manny Morales who's doing session work nowadays, and uh, he's a great bass player, and uh, he's definitely doing very well now, and... uh, this is uh, just a couple songs off that. This was just taped off a little little ghetto blaster, but the whole thing, mind you, is this is like a 20th generation, no lie. I mean, this is some bad tape. It's it's just really bad sounding. But it's the only thing I had available and the, to me, and, and none of the other members really have anything. So, uh, But I wanted to share this with you. There's a couple of cool songs. These songs never got uh, recorded on any other album, and uh, they don't have lyrics because you know we, were, we didn't have a singer yet, and uh, we weren't sure whether we were going to have me sing or not. And, uh, you know, the, the band didn't want me to sing, and I wanted to sing. It was just kind of a little thing here and there. But I didn't sing yet. So it's just music, but the first song is called Who Will Save the Children, and it was obviously an anti-abortion song. And uh, and the next one is an instrumental, actually, which pretty much started the, the whole incarnation of speed metal and the deliverance because it's, it's kind of fast. It's not real fast, but it's it started it there because it's real heavy. So uh, And that one's called Stand Up and Fight. So... Enough of my yapping, let's get going and uh, let's take a listen into the first four years. This is 1985, Deliverance. <laughs> 